Hey YouTube, it's Andy. Tonight I'm bringing you the Grey Guns Short Reset Trigger System. It works for several models that are similar. Uh, all the P30 models, this is the Variant 1 action plate. They also make one for the models that have a safety. And also all the P2000 models. And I will only be replacing the sear pin, which is longer than the stock one, and the action plate. And these in combination will shorten the actual trigger reset. This spring right here is actually for the hammer block. And I don't really want to mess with spring weights. I know it'll make the initial trigger draw a little bit lighter. But I like to keep the stock one in there. I have no problem with this as it is. And uh, Grey Guns is a company out of Oregon that makes uh, triggers for SIG as well and HK. And it's very premium products. This is like a nickel boron coating. And uh, I would set these products right next to factory HK products. Um, this should not affect the reliability at all. But what it's going to do is, and this is my favorite carry gun, by the way. I carry this one the most. It's a little bit chunky, but it's extremely reliable. Also a great combat weapon. But what it'll do is, is it will make this reset so much shorter so there you go you get to the wall there nice crisp break this is the only problem with this pistol is it doesn't reset till right there this is supposed to shorten it up by about 40 percent so let's take a look all right so i decided to tape off where the factory reset is and i'll show you All right, so I will keep that piece of tape on there and you'll see the finished results. All right, guys, I am completed. I'm excited to bring you my first impressions. I just got to put the slide back on. And I just wanted to show you that this is the piece right here that makes all the difference. See how it's silver? And this is the original one right here. And you can see the wear that was on it. The wear is kind of on the sides there. Sorry, I know it's hard to see with the light. But anyway, let's check out the new trigger here. It's supposed to lighten it up almost about 40%. The website says 33%, but we'll see. Remember where the tape was? Moment of truth. Oh yeah. I really wanted to get a video of me installing the whole trigger kit, but I didn't have a camera stand or a cameraman to help me out. All right, I just wanted to get a little bit better view here and some better lighting. You can see the tape right there on the trigger housing. That's where the original reset was. So yeah, it reset, I would say, a little over a quarter of an inch shorter of a reset. So all in all, I'm happy. It's very fast for follow-up shots. You know, you can just... It requires way less finger movement forward. Guys, I think it's a great addition, a great upgrade to the P30 line. I think this is one of the best combat pistols. Uh, this is definitely my favorite carry pistol. And I think for $85, right now that's what these kits are going for. It's definitely worth it. I wanted to say that I highly recommend this kit. If I can put it in there, anybody can. If you're not me mechanically inclined or don't know a whole lot about gunsmithing you can still do it all it required was two punches 
a 1.5 millimeter and a three millimeter. Um, let's see, here's the other one. So you can get those pretty much at any hardware store. You start off by driving out this pin right here and then the, the back strap comes off and these two things, there's a hammer uh, strut with a spring and a little square piece that's captured. That's the hardest part, honestly, that's what took me the longest was pushing that and maneuvering it out. It's a little bit different than the P30 and the P30L models. And then once you get, let's see, I'm gonna show you real quick here what parts I had to take out and kind of the process. Once you take off the slide assembly and you just have the bottom frame here, you take out, you push this pin, but you don't want to push it because there's actually four parts right here. I push it all the way to where it gets here and you've got, you know, part of the pin sticking out and then you remove three parts. You remove this. I'm sorry, I don't know the name of that. It's like a reset. It resets the slide and then that piece. And then there's a piece right here and they all kind of mate together through one hole. So you can just push this punch through and have them all right there as you insert that and then push this right back there, you know, back into place. But you do have to have the hammer. You kind of got to play around with the hammer to get everything back to fit into the hole there. But it's very easy, guys. And then you just do everything in reverse. Put the spring over the hammer strut. Put the little square piece back in and lock it in place. And then put these back in. Push your pin back in. It's pretty easy. While you're in there too, it's a good idea to clean and lubricate everything, especially down in here because you don't really get a chance to get down in there and clean all that stuff that good very often. And uh, it's well worth the money, guys, especially if you shoot a lot. The only downside to this pistol is that long reset trigger. And I don't know why Heckler & Coke put that in a model that came out, I believe around like 2006. Maybe even before that. I know it was after 2001. But uh, I, I've never understood why they just didn't put a better trigger in there. At least something to the uh, USP standards. This pretty much gives it the reset of the USP line. And uh, I just think it's a great addition. Thanks, guys.